Guide. So today we are looking at this paper called Light Rack Simple and Fast Retrieval Augmented Generation, which essentially tries to fix the main issue with standard rack systems, where they rely on flat data representations and miss the complex dependencies between entities. The authors argue that while existing graph-based methods like GraphRag work well, they are often computationally expensive and slow to update, so LightRag proposes a framework that incorporates graph structures into both indexing and retrieval, but does so in a way that is actually efficient and scalable. Now let's look at the indexing process, which they call graph-based text indexing, where they start by segmenting documents into chunks and using an LLM to extract entities and their relationships. The system does not just create a graph structure, but it performs profiling to generate key value pairs for each node and age, where the key is the name and the value is a text summary of the relevant snippets. They also run a deduplication function to merge identical entities from different chunks, which minimizes the graph size and makes the whole thing faster to query later on. The retrieval part is where they introduce this dual level retrieval paradigm, which is designed to handle both specific queries about detailed entities and abstract queries about broader themes. For a given query, the model extracts local keywords for specific entities and global keywords for relationships, and then uses a vector database to match these keywords to the keys in the graph. A big advantage here is how they handle data updates with an incremental update algorithm. In many existing graph rag systems, adding new data requires rebuilding large parts of the index or community reports, which is very slow and expensive, but LightRag simply processes the new document to extract its subgraph and merges it with the existing one. This seamless integration ensures the system remains up to date without the massive overhead usually associated with maintaining knowledge graphs. They evaluated this on the ultra domain benchmark across agriculture CS and legal datasets. And the results show that LightRag consistently outperforms baselines like NaiveRag and GraphRag, particularly in comprehensiveness and diversity. The most striking result is on the cost side, where they show that for retrieval, LightRag uses fewer than 100 tokens and one API call, whereas GraphRag processes hundreds of thousands of tokens because it has to read through multiple community reports. And that basically wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this explanation helpful, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to stay up to date with everything I post on this channel. See you in the next one. Bye bye.